Lovable AI is this new shiny toy that business owners have recently discovered that lets them build websites really fast and they look amazing. But there's one problem. If you want that website to actually be found by Google and other search engines, then you might want to look somewhere else. In this video, I'm going to go over why Lovable might not be the right solution for you if you care about SEO. Let's start off with the good stuff about Lovable AI. So it lets you build really fast and it lets you build really nice websites. That's that's the awesome part about it. And the design features honestly are, are really up to your imagination. You can do any style. You can prompt it to copy a style of a certain website that exists. You can upload a mock-up of an existing website and upload it and then say, you know, do a, a, a replica of this website and it'll do it really well. So that's the good part about it. In addition to that, it lets you edit on the fly. So let's say you wanted to edit one section of the website. Let's just say a component like the FAQs and you didn't like the accordion style. You wanted to do some other type. You can just edit that in the prompt and it'll edit the website and that section without redoing the entire website like it used to, like things used to do in the past. So it's really good at that. It's also really good at building applications, meaning let's say you wanted to build an AI app that uses a login where people can, can actually log in and have a database and save their settings and all those kind of fancy things. It lets you build all of that. That's a little bit more advanced usage of it, but it does let you do that and it's really good at it. So there's a ton of cool features to use with Lovable AI, but there's just one problem. Lovable AI uses React JS or React JavaScript, which is a framework that builds single page applications. And that's just fancy tech talk for it builds websites in a way that Google can't really see what's on there and can't really render or, or crawl the content in the way that it can with other websites. So that leaves your website vulnerable to not being found on search engines like Google because it can't crawl or index them correctly. And when Google can't read your website, it's gonna be impossible to show up in the search results. SEO is still the number one way that most consumers find local businesses especially and just find services, products, and all these other kinds of things. So if you are using a React built website like Lovable AI Builds, then it's gonna be impossible for you to show up on those search results on Google, Bing, and other search engines. So you basically end up building this really beautiful billboard in the middle of the desert that nobody can see. So it's very important that if you are intending to build a website that you want to be found on Google and you want searchable, then Lovable AI is probably not the best way to go about it. So if you're wanting to build a website that nobody can find, let's say you're trying to build a web application for your internal team, or you're trying to build something for yourself, or even if you're building an application that ne doesn't necessarily need to be searchable, then Lovable AI is the right choice for you. However, if you're trying to build a website for let's say a local business like a plumber, home services, or anything like that, that needs to show up on Google, then Lovable AI is probably not the best route for you simply because it's gonna be impossible for it to show up on search results. That usually means going beyond SPAs or single page applications. That means you're gonna to wanna to stick with something more traditional like a WordPress or even a Webflow, something that is already established and being able to rank high and really easy to use, has plugins and ecosystem and all those kinds of things that'll help you rank higher in search results like Google and other search engines. So at the end of the day, don't confuse a pretty website with a profitable one. If ranking on Google and other search engines is important to you, then Lobal AI is probably not the way to go. And you're going to want to focus on something more traditional and building out on these established platforms, like I said earlier. That being said, if you wanna use it to create mockups and quickly uh, design websites to send to a professional designer or coder to build into something like a WordPress or a Webflow, then it works great. If you're trying to build single page applications on purpose, like internal apps for your company or things like that, then again, Lobal AI is an amazing tool that I highly recommend to use. And on another note, guys, I'm really trying to build up my following here. So if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, follow for more, because I'm gonna be pumping out videos like this all the time that bring you the latest in marketing, AI, and all kinds of automations. Thanks.